outdoors and feeling like me. I like the color, but in this space it's feeling too dark. I want to brighten it up. Modern Masters has this great front door paint in water-based contemporary colors that lets me paint and close my door in the same day. Now that's my kind of project. They even have a free front door paint app that lets me pick a color and see exactly what my door will look like. Fortunate, that's the one for me. Modern Masters offer some great tips. After prepping, I'll paint the reveals, then the panels, the horizontals starting at the top, and finally, the verticals. <sighs> that feels better, and it coordinates perfectly with my landscaping. It's a bright and happy color. It says, a fortunate person lives here. It's awesome finding furniture and things for my home that can be refinished to look new. Chalked paint is one of my favorite products because it's easy to use, doesn't require a lot of prep work, is easy to distress, and ends up giving that vintage chic look that I can customize as I choose. Chalked paint is so versatile. It can be used on bare and finished wood, glass, ceramic, metal, and laminate. Using this table, I'm going to share some simple techniques to help you create your own masterpiece. Here's what you need for your project. Chalked paint, Rust-Oleum's is great. It's fast and easy to use and dries to a velvety smooth finish. A drop cloth, 180 or 220 grit sandpaper, a two inch high quality paintbrush, gloves, a lint-free cloth, and hardware. Priming is not required for most projects, but to prevent bleed through of certain types of woods, just add one light coat of cover stain or bin primer to the wood. Spread out your drop cloth. You only need to sand on high gloss surfaces. Use fine grit sandpaper and lightly scuff the surface for maximum adhesion. Remove all hardware and drawers. Wipe the table with a cloth to remove any dust. It's easier to get a smooth finish when the pieces are independent and can lie flat. Choose a high quality synthetic brush for best results. Apply the chalk paint with even coats, brushing in the same direction. Chalked paint applies with one coat on most surfaces. When using a light color on a dark table, one to two additional coats may be required. You can apply up to five coats for your desired look. The easiest way to distress chalked paint is with fine to medium 180 to 220 grit sandpaper. Hold the sandpaper with the tips of your finger and sand the corners and edges of your piece to get the desired look. The more you sand, the more the original finish will show through. For rounded surfaces, wrap the sandpaper around the surface. For added durability and protection, apply one to two thin coats of chalked ultra matte top coat with a clean high quality paintbrush and let dry. The top coat helps prevent watermarks and is easier to clean. Attach your selected hardware and put the drawer in place. And here you have your own masterpiece. Writable, erasable, always functional. Transform a once forgotten place into a creative, productive space with rust -Oleum Specialty Dry Erase Paint. Time to put the fun in functional as you turn an ordinary surface into an extraordinary dry erase finish that you can enjoy for years to come. The smooth, glossy white finish dries hard, making it the perfect surface for all your dry erase marker messages. With minimal odor and easy application, Specialty Dry Erase Paint is ideal for indoor applications. Before you begin, be sure to read all directions thoroughly. To get started, prepare your work area. Thoroughly clean the area with soap and water. Rinse and let dry. Use painter's tape to mask your coverage area before moving on to the next step. 
If you're applying dry erase paint to a drywall surface that is already painted in a light color, primer is not needed. To cover darker surfaces and bare surfaces, we strongly recommend using a primer to ensure superior adhesion and coverage. If a primer is used, be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. For bare wood, sand lightly to smooth out the surface after priming. Now you're ready to paint. Begin by stirring Part A and Part B separately before mixing. Next, pour Part A into Part B and stir thoroughly until paint is uniform in color. Once mixed, it is important to begin applying dry erase paint immediately so it can be fully applied within one hour of mixing. After pouring the paint into a tray, use a dense foam roller designed to give a smooth finish. For smaller surfaces, you can use a foam brush. For best results, apply a minimum of two coats to light-colored surfaces and three coats to darker surfaces. Allow 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Your surface will be dry to the touch in about an hour. Once dry, remove any painter's tape. Give your dry erase surface at least three days to cure before writing or erasing for the first time. It's that simple. Now you're ready to enjoy your new writable erasable surface. When fully cured, dry erase markers may be applied to the surface and then wiped off with an eraser or lint-free cloth. If marks are left behind after erasing, simply use a dry erase cleaner. Do not use household cleaners, abrasive cleaners, or abrasive cloths. To prevent ghosting, avoid the use of neon or pink markers. Ready to take on your next project? Think Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, magnetic primer, and much more as you explore Prestige Paint's one gallon paint can will arrive at your front door in this easy to carry, no spill guaranteed, drop tested box. Open the box with the arrows pointed up and remove the paint stick, pamphlet, and lid opener tool. Then remove the cardboard circle set on top of the lid to see the color dab. Verify the color dab matches the color you ordered. Lift the can out of the box and set it on a hard surface. Use the lid opener tool or a household screwdriver to pry the metal clips from the lid. Your can was shaken inside an electric paint shaker before we shipped it to you, but we recommend stirring the paint before you apply it. <music>